Every night now, the air raid sirens wail and people scramble for safety. This war is getting uglier as men, women and children cower for another night in the darkness. We don't know where the rocket will fall, what will happen to our city, who will come here and how will everything happen in five minutes. So the last few days we live in water. This is a place that is awaiting its fate. The United Nations is moving all non-essential staff and their families. This group heading for the border. On the roads to the south, Ukrainian armor rumbles to meet the growing threat. These troops advancing to reinforce the defense of this region. Inside the city, there is an atmosphere of paranoia and suspicion. As rumors of Russian spies circulate, this man was detained at gunpoint. And all the time, roads and buildings are being fortified. This is a fight for the soul of this country. I'm here because I think that everyone should unite in our efforts. And maybe I can't kill someone, but I can help in other way. These people want to fight, but for now will offer their support any way they can. The territorial defense has so many volunteers, they can't all join at once. There is a real sense of fear and apprehension. People are extremely scared about what is happening to their country, but the levels of resistance here are immense. It seems that anyone who is able to pick up a gun or fill up a sandbag is coming forwards in defiance of the Russian invasion. David has enrolled and is making Molotov cocktails to defend his city. But as this brutal war descends further, it will be the innocent who bear the brunt of Russia's aggression. There will be many more frightening nights underground. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Dnipro.